Hello, I'm Mark Brooks, and welcome to my channel. Tonight is a star party hosted by the uh, Clovis New Mexico Astronomy Club here at the Ned Hal Park, just five miles north of Clovis. As you can see in the background, we're starting to set up telescopes, and we, we uh, both the president and our vice president have their scopes, and we also have a guest. It looks like he brought two scopes of his own, so we'll move in closer and take a look at this. We are president. This is his scope. It's a uh, you got a manual scope on eight inch mirror yep. eight about, inch and about how many power varies from the magnification that's got a zoom eyepiece on it so it goes from uh, 28 millimeters down to 12 millimeters i think okay so i don't know that works out to be somewhere 40 to maybe 150 something like 40 to maybe 150 okay and this is uh you know gary our vice president his scope is a uh, fully automatic scope where you you automatically uh, sets itself on the object and keeps tracking it as the Earth rotates. Yeah. So this is about like a six inch, uh, five. a five inch oh. mirror. Yeah, it's a Max Top telescope. It's a, similar to a, a Schmidt Cost It has a little bit longer focal length than a Schmidt Cost at the same size. Uh -huh. um, and I'm going to be using a variety of eyepieces. This thing has anywhere between about 1,200 uh, millimeter focal length, so it has a long focal length for its small size. My 8-inch SCT, the Smith Constraint, has about has just over 2,000. So, it, for a small size scope, it has a good reach. Mm -hmm. So the object first reflects off the large mirror, then reflects off this mirror on the front, right? Yeah. That, that's what it looks like it's doing. Yes. The optics of it. Yeah. That's what. Yeah, that's exactly what it's yeah. doing. Uh -huh. And it reflects back to the uh, to the eyepiece. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can also mount a camera on it as well. Yeah. And of course, like I say, here's a control where you can set set the uh, messier number. Mm -hmm. right. And it'll, it'll set itself yeah. automatically on it. Yeah, this is the uh, brains of the mount, mm -hmm. and it, you know it has all the catalogs in there and, and all the, the the database where once you select your target, it'll go right to it and track from there. Yeah. And for calibration, it it, all, it gets its own position by its own has its own GPS. And it does have a GPS unit which is attached right here. And then next you have to. Uh, Calibrate the direction, pointing at known stars. Uh, well, what we'll do is we'll align it on three stars, to, and um, from there it should be able to have all the information it needs to track the targets. Yeah, so, so it knows where it's looking at, what direction it's going. Absolutely. It'll take care of itself as far as uh, setting itself. That is absolutely, absolutely right. Yeah. Here we, yeah, we have one guest who brought his brought two, two scopes of his own. This looks like a yeah, eight inch. Uh, ask. This looks like an eight inch manual. This uh, Sky Watcher. Yeah. But how many power do you have on it? The uh, uh, power. Uh, I just have a twenty on the eyepiece. I don't really mess too much with it on the, on the visual side. Uh -huh. They let a lot of kids play around it because it's not really break electronically. Okay. He has a manual scope, you have to set it manually. This is much larger scope, very large scope. How size is the reflector? Uh, this is a 12 and a half. 12 and a half inch. It has an yeah, equatorial mount, which keeps it tracking the object as the Earth rotates. Never seen an amateur scope this large. We never had a guest who brought one this large. It'll be kind of an exciting night, what we'll be seeing and doing with it. Both Jan and Marianne, you know, two ladies who are also in the, in the club. And they don't bring the telescope, they just kind of bring themselves and bring their company. So, looks like in the distance we have some guests showing up. We probably will be, should be joining in on our activity. Hey, we got a very excellent uh, weather conditions, uh, very little clouds, the, the air is very calm, so we should have a very pleasant night without uh, wind conditions or even uh, 
or clouds to interfere with whatever we're going to be viewing. Yeah, this is a, you're viewing the sky opposite of the sun, and you're seeing what looks like a uh, a uh, opposite sunrise or sunset. You know, just sun rays converging uh, opposite of the sun on the horizon, opposite of where the sun is uh, setting. And of course, clouds in the distance are creating those uh, sun rays, those orange-looking sun rays that you're seeing. Yeah, looks like we got another telescope being set up. I'm gonna wait till he gets it set up and I'll uh, get a view of that. Starting to get darker and we have more guests showing up. Another family is showing up here. We'll, we'll see, we'll see if they brought their own scope. Maybe they did, we'll see later. We have another good visitor who brought a scope. Yeah, we have one guest who brought a uh, small, it doesn't look like a telescope at all. We, being covered up. It's actually a smart telescope. He tells me it, uh, it's uh, phone app controlled. That's using your phone. The app on your phone, you can uh, tell it what you want it to set it to and it will set itself automatically to it. So that's very compact and very loaded. This uh, family that shows up looks like they brought their own uh, scope too. They're setting it up. Continue to get darker. I'm having to use a flashlight to provide the additional light necessary to on the uh, camera, but you have a large turn now. It looks like we got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six scopes that will be used tonight. So it's going to be a very interesting night with this uh, crowd we have showing up. It's a large 12 inch scope here. It displays the image on the uh, laptop screen. We're looking at the Hercules uh, cluster. I guess that's the uh, galaxy uh, bright spot on the screen. You know, this uh, monitor is just showing a slideshow of galaxies, star clusters, nebulas, I guess. It must be another nebula, I can't tell what that one is. That's probably the ring nebula. There's a variety of uh, pictures for everyone to come out and see it. Whoa, never seen that before. A nebula. Interesting images to see. We're doing another nebula again. It's the uh, name of it again. It's, uh, North American Nebula. North American Nebula. Okay. Yeah. 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 This view with this uh, scope, with, uh, which has a uh, phone app control. Where are we viewing here? The North American the North American, okay, still there. Okay. Another view of the North American uh, nebula. Yeah, it's okay. Now it's getting late, close to 11 o'clock, and most of us are now leaving, so that's all we can see tonight. We couldn't see the moon because the moon rises very late tonight. We also can't see any of the planets because they also rise very late at night, so. The next star party will be uh, July 6th at uh, Oasis State Park, just north of Portales, New Mexico. So yeah, I'll be I'll be there to do another video of this, and uh, and you look forward to seeing that uh, star party video too. So great turnout we had, a lot of people out showed up, a lot of telescopes that showed up, and so that'll be it. So on behalf of the New Clovis New Mexico Astronomy Club, and thanks for watching.